All of you know about the Mahabharata, the, possibly the biggest and the greatest war that has ever been waged between the Pandavas and the Kauravas. The Pandavas had been put through a life full of uncertainties by the Kauravas. And on the cusp of battle, their greatest warrior Arjuna was plagued with uncertainty, just before the first arrow was drawn. And this is what he says, I desire neither victory, nor pleasure, nor kingdom. I don't even want my life if I have to fight the people that I like. And this was after a lifetime of misery. He still was faced with uncertainty. Shakespeare in Hamlet possibly captured it best when he said to be or not to be. And I think as project managers, we are all faced with that decision-making process. Every day we face uncertainties. Normally, the theme of the conference is selected after the host chapter is decided for the conference. But if we had decided that the theme of the conference was going to be about managing uncertainty, I can't think of a better place than Delhi to host this. They live here in the midst of uncertainty. Possibly all the decisions get made a few hundred, few kilometers away from us that affect the whole nation. What we are going to bring to you in the next two days are a host of eminent speakers who will hopefully help us make better decisions, remove some of the uncertainties that we face, especially in these challenging times. On that note, it's my pleasure to now invite Manoj Gupta to come and give us the welcome address. Manoj is a techno-commercial manager with over 20 years of experience in IT and the BPO sectors. Uh, there are very few things and very few verticals that he has not worked in. Mergers and acquisitions, application development, outsourcing, 24 bar 7 support, you name it, he has done it in his vast experience. In his current avatar, he runs his own project management consulting company called PP uh, Pariyojana. And more importantly for all of us, he's a long-serving member of the North India chapter currently the president and the project chairman of the fifth annual PMI India conference. Manoj, I request you to come and give this a welcome address. There's a presentation there. Presentation. Okay. Good morning, everyone. I would like to first of all thank you all for coming here and attending this conference on behalf of the host North India chapter. Uh, this conference, as you will know, is being delivered by a set of volunteers from the local chapter with support from all the seven chapters of India, all other seven chapters. And uh, before I start, in case you need any help or any issues, you will have 30 to 40 volunteers wearing black and white t-shirts with PMI North India chapter logo moving around, or a black patch. So anyone needing any help, you can catch these guys. And these are the people who are actually delivering the conference. We are just overseeing the activity. So before I start, I just wanted to mention these are the people behind it. <coughs> Excellent. OK. See, before we went into the conference, I would like to mention that PMI is a body which is run by volunteers, which has a lot of uh, certified people all over the globe. So the first slide basically just give you an overview of the type of people which are constituting the PMI with the type of credentials they hold and the number of credential holders across the globe. Without getting into the numbers, this slide was meant for people who are not from PMI, who are the practitioners who are working in the market and who are going to participate in future activities. The day's agenda, if you see, we have galaxy of speakers coming in. We have a lot of people from PMI, PMI BOD here. Dina Gordon, member PMI board. Craig, uh, vice president, organizational markets. Then we have Brian, VP product management, and Raj Kaladi, MD of PMI India. Uh, I would also like to welcome all the chapter president from other seven chapters. We are the eighth chapter. So they're all sitting there in the first table. So anyone wanting to get in touch with them, you can meet these guys there. Uh, these people, when we deliver a conference, we all work together as a host chapter and the supporting chapters. So this is the fifth conference in the last five years which we are delivering together. Faces change every year, names change across the chapter presidents, but the team spirit remains the same. Then we have a lot of delegates attending the conference. We would like to welcome these guys. A lot of people have come from outside NCR region. And as per the initial estimates in the first, first month of our bookings, I think there were 55% people who were from outside NCR. 
just to have a show of strength, can we have people raising hands from the region outside NCR here, who are not from NCR? So that shows a real, real character of this conference. Probably 75% people or 80%, I think, if I look, go by show of hand, is not from NCR. So it's a real national conference. And in last four conferences, if I remember correctly, uh, we generally have a 80-85% mix from the local uh, geography. So I think we have changed the trend. So this year we have probably 25% or 30% people from NCR and 70% from outside NCR. Uh, we're happy, but we would like to have more NCR representation, definitely. But this is a good trend. <clears throat> then we have a lot of uh, keynote speakers. Bhaskar Parmanik is here from Microsoft. He's chairman of that. Mr. Deep Kalra, who runs the Make My Trip. Uh, see, some interesting things which we have done. There's a corporate panel today. So the person who's anchoring it is head of Converges India and UK, Mr. Hanuman Talwar. Then there are a lot of high-profile speakers in the conference, in the same panel. Mr. Ms. Sophie Bichu, Bichu, she's a French national. She's heading global technology services of IBM in India. You have Mr. Indranil Das, VP Ericsson, and Mr. Uh, Neeraj Bansal, partner from KPMG. <coughs> in the evening, we have Mr. Arun Mehra from Planning Commission. And in the evening, we would like to invite all of you to come and participate in the PMI Awards Night, where we are going to recognize a lot of uh, practitioners award, NGO awards, etc. So that will carry late into night, I think 9.30, 10, uh, followed by cocktail and dinner. Sorry. I'm going to stick to 10 minutes given to me. Uh, if you look at what we are doing this time, there are a lot of first things which we are doing in this conference. This is the first PMI national conference in North India. And this is happening in a two days format, which is a slightly different format from earlier conferences. We have uh, created two different panels for the first time, corporate panel and government panel. As uh, my previous friend mentioned, since this is a seat of central government, we have a, corporate, a government panel, which is uh, having a lot of government speakers. And we have ensured that not more than one or two of them are from Delhi. So they are from all over the India, from different corners of India, actually. Uh, we'll cover their details. We have also introduced a new case study track. So we had a lot of senior speakers who have managed or overseas last project. Just to give you an example, we have Mr. Uh, uh, Mr. Vogue coming from Tata Nano project. He's the one who oversees the movement of project from West Bengal to Gujarat. And uh, he is presenting a case study on how the whole plant was moved. So we have got five such senior speakers who are MDs of different companies or heading different units of the companies. And we have called a new track called case study track. So people can actually learn from those tracks in terms of real life projects. Then this is the first conference of this scale to be hosted by North India chapter. Lastly, if you look at the government panel, what we have done is we have invited IT sectors from different states, Maharashtra, Western side, Andhra Pradesh, Southern part, GNK Extreme North, and then we have people from Ministry of Statistics. And, uh, the, and Mr. Uh, Waglu is incidentally here today. He's heading a CMD of TCIL, a big PSU in Delhi. So these people are going to be uh, delivering the government panel discussion for you. And another thing we have done is we launched a mobile app for you people. And in the last, there's a photo opportunity. So you have different theme boards lying outside. You can go there, get a photograph done, and take it along as a souvenir of the conference. Day's agenda. Sorry, I'm pressing the wrong button. Conference details. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, this entire conference is delivered by PMI North India chapter volunteers or the host chapter volunteers. These people, as I have already mentioned, a dress code, you can catch them from the color. We have attendees and sponsors from multiple countries. If you look at the data I mentioned, there are people who are, our guest was 50%, but I think looking at the numbers here, 70% is from outside Delhi. Then there are people who have come from Sri Lanka, Sri Lanka chapter itself, Nepal. Two people came in from Nepal yesterday. Uh, Singapore. There are people from Europe who are uh, not only attending, but also sponsoring the conference. And then we have people from North America, a lot of people from PMI board, basically. OK, if you look at the benefit which we are uh, providing for practitioners, uh, basically, because it's a practitioner's conference, you can earn up to more than 20 PDUs in the conference. Uh, there are 25 visionary speakers across different tracks and different formats. There are five impressive case studies. So each case study has been covered in a different track. So if you want to attend only the case studies, you can attend all of them, basically. Uh, 15 industry vertical specific papers. These papers have been evaluated by a team of 60 to 70 people across three to four rounds of evaluation across the nation. So there were, I think, 15 people from Delhi and around 30 to 40 people from across the country who were doing this exercise. There are 37 sessions from domain experts in, to, in total. 
eight keynote session and a lot of networking opportunities. No conference can succeed without the support of sponsors. So Microsoft is a platinum sponsor uh, for last, I think, four to five years. And again, this year, then you have a lot of sponsors like ESI, IAL, uh, Product Dossier, PM Gurus, Astrovix. And then we have a lot of support coming from the government in terms of Ministry of Statistics, Planning Commission. And then we have a host chapter logo on the, on the screen. And below is the logo for all the seven chapters who are represented by the chapter presidents here. So none of the conference could be delivered without support of other chapters. So we want to just reemphasize that point. So we recognize the support they've given us. <laughs> to give you an idea, the MC is from Chennai chapter. The lady who wrote invite letters for us for all the keynotes and other speaker is from Bangalore chapter. So that's the type of integration we have in this conference. In the end, thank you very much. I would like to stick to my time. I think I've saved 25 seconds from the time allotted to me. <laughs> so we'll try our best to stick to the project management time and schedule and hand it over to MC. Kaushik. Thank you. Thank you, Manoj. And uh, I'm kind of hoping that all the project managers from the NCR region who didn't come today are working on the projects that the government has announced. <laughs>